and welcome to the V-Horns saxophones overview video. After the release of V-Horns brass section, many of you immediately asked for it, so we decided to work on saxophones. It took us over a year, but they're finally here. As for all of the V-Horns family, the V-Horns saxophones are based on our HAT technology, Harmonic Alignment Technology, a hybrid of sampling and modeling that allows us to accurately reproduce and control the full dynamics of the instruments in real time, from the nuanced sounds of a light breath to full power. If you are more into trumpets or trombones, don't forget to check out our V-Horns brass section. To cover the whole range of saxophones, we recorded eight in total. Two altos, two tenors, two sopranos, and two baritones. We recorded two of each to cover two distinct types of playing, one more jazz-centric with a lot of breath, and the other more classical-oriented with a much cleaner tone. A large part of what makes our model so realistic is that it's based on real samples from a real player, so it contains all of the noises and small pitch, timbre, and volume variations of a live musician. And as a result, it just sounds real. Aside from the sound source, all of the techniques like vibrato, transitions, bends, and so on are pure modeling, which allows you to play the instrument in the most expressive way possible without having numerous key switches. Basically, it's like playing a real saxophone. You pick a note, you blow some air, and sometimes you add some jaw movement or pressure to add vibratos or bends. Here's a short example demonstrating the power of V-Horn's saxophones. We recreated a musical phrase using only note ons, note offs, one cc for the air, another for the vibrato, and some very occasional pitch bends. We did not play it live, but a skilled keyboard player can easily do it. course, since it works for solo instruments, it works even better for ensembles or sections. So here's a quick four-part piece. One is a real performance, the other is V-horn saxophones. If you listen carefully, you should hear the slight differences, but the two performances are so close, would you still hear them in a mix? This is how powerful and versatile V-Horns is. Unlike fully sample-based libraries, you can actually have it play exactly what you want, with all of the nuances, lengths, rises, attacks, etc., all of which are possible and very easy to control. <laughs> And unlike fully modeled instruments, it still feels real and lively. Okay, so now let's dive into the instrument itself and its interface. On the front interface, you'll find the main controls. First, the vibrato that can be set to automatic. Automatic, depending on time. Which you can control with the curve and the preferences. Or manually. The manual method allows you to mimic the jaw movement of the saxophone player and reproduce any vibrato very accurately. Mm -hmm. 
Second, the amount of air. And third, the amount of reverberation. All of these have an associated MIDI CC. To assign them, simply click on the small dot next to it, and then move a CC on your keyboard or controller. The first panel is for mixing. We captured each instrument with four microphone positions, which you can see above the sliders. You can mix them however you'd like, and apply a three-band EQ and some ultra-high quality impulse response reverb. The other essential innovation in V-Horns is the virtual space. On the second tab, you can see a virtual scene with seven seats per row and three rows. Here, you can virtually place the instrument wherever you want by clicking on each seat. This is not a simple panning feature. It's the real impulse response from that seat in a room to the microphones placed in front. This allows you to recreate an ensemble and place each instrument wherever you like in true position. On top of that, you can select the type of microphone pair that you want to use, ORTF, XY, AB, binaural, or MS, and you can control how wide you want the scene to be. The Preference tab allows you to take in-depth control on many more technical details, all of which is explained in detail on the web page. But here are the main features. You can control the pitch aspects. A musician rarely plays notes perfectly in pitch from start to end so there's often a pitch rise or fall and some imprecision. And with V-Horns, you can control all of that. The advanced pitch bend allows for very natural note bends up to three semitones. Disabling it will lower the CPU usage. The transitions on horn instruments are very characteristic and can also be played in very different ways. with or without flutter, with a glide, with more or less attack. And you can control and decide how to trigger them from the preferences. The timbre variation represents the timbre modulation that happens in the transition between notes, and you can control how much of it you want on the slow legatos and on the pitch bend. You can customize the vibrato, its speed, and how much pitch and volume modulation you want. We also introduced a vibrato with air feature that allows you to create a pitch vibrato with just the air control.
You can easily play growls and adjust how much of it you want. You can control the response of the instrument to MIDI input with the air curve. We've added support for different wind controllers, like the EWI and the Aerophone, as well as basic keyboards. There are still a few key switches for special features like falls, rises, manual half valve, and more. Last but not least, we created an ensemble feature. Sometimes you just want to create one MIDI track and have a whole section play it and harmonize it automatically. All you need to do is set a timing in precision, select a scale, and by how much you want it transposed on each instrument that you load, and voila, you get a realistic horn section in only a few minutes. Most of these features are very important to make a performance realistic, but they're not fixed. For example, a musician will never have the same pitch curve attack twice. So we added a randomized feature that will pick a different value between the minimum and the value that you set each time a new note is played. With these instruments, whether you use a wind controller or a keyboard, you can play entirely convincing lines or solos, create sections, and even have sheet music MIDI exports play something still more convincing. Okay, that's all for this video. You can get V-Horn saxophones from AcousticSamples.net. Thanks for watching.